Hey everybody, it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the videos I do every single week about cleaning and organization and homeschooling and mom life and fitness and Disney. So if you like those kinds of videos, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss them every single week. But today's video is a little bit special and different for me. I have had quite a few questions over the years about um, dealing with children that have ADD or ADHD, especially as it relates to homeschooling. I've gotten quite a few questions about that because we do homeschool and while I am certainly not a professional and I don't have all the answers, um, I appreciate that you guys trust me enough to ask me that and hopefully I will be able to share some tips and suggestions in this video to help you out. And even if your child does not have ADD or ADHD, I think we can all relate to the fact that kids are like ticking time bombs and you never know how long they're going to be able to sit there before they just kind of go, go haywire. So. Hopefully these tips will help you even if you have a child that has not been diagnosed with ADD or ADHD or any type of hyperactivity. I think we could all still benefit from this video, hopefully. So this information and these tips I'm gonna be sharing with you guys are all from, is based on information I've gotten from public school teachers and from online research and just you know learning about education. As we've homeschooled, I've learned more and more about um, education. So hopefully you'll find some tips here that will help you. The first thing that seems to be recommended by pretty much every therapist or teacher is some kind of fidget for your child to manipulate while they're doing their schoolwork. So a lot of us fidget without us ever really even knowing that's what we're doing. We click a pen, we twist our hair, we shake our foot, we tap on the desk. We all do a lot of these little things. I'm a foot shaker and my husband, sometimes I'll be sitting, sitting next to him in church and I'll be shaking my foot and he just kind of grabs my leg like, stop shaking your foot. But we all have those little things. That's a form of fidgeting. And so obviously in school, you don't want your kid tapping on the desk or clicking pen. So having fidgets for them in public school or home school is really gonna help them to um, release some of that uh, energy and be able to focus their mind on what they're supposed to be focusing on. There's tons of different types of fidgets and styles and colors and all different things for kids and adults. But one of the ones that I found that I think are really great, these from Born to Calm on Amazon, I will link them below. And you get a pack of 10 fidgets, two of which have a key ring on the end. So you can use them on keys, you can put them on a backpack. So these are really nice for kids that may have to go to tutoring or if they're going to public school, they can stay on their backpack. Or even if you're an adult and you wanna bring it with you, they do have the key ring on the end. The the other ones are just these tubes of like this mesh material. It's BPA free and there's a marble on the inside that you can roll around inside the tube. There's all different colors. And I think it's nice to have because they are quiet and they're small, you can even keep them in a pocket. It works really nicely to give your child or yourself something to fidget with while they're doing their schoolwork. These fidgets from Born to Calm are really special as well because when you purchase them from Amazon, 10% of your purchase of these fidgets from Born to Calm will go to benefit the Autistic Self Advocacy Network. So it really is a company that is interested and concerned about um, the special needs community. And so I really think that reason alone is an amazing reason to pick up these fidgets. And like I said, you don't have to have a child with hyperactivity issues to, to be able to benefit from these. My kids love playing with these and they're, they're nice because they have a drawstring bag so if you wanna take them on the go, keep them all together in the classroom or something, then that's nice because it does come with the bag. But my kids love playing with these. It's just a fun thing to do to de-stress and to focus and to concentrate. So that is my first suggestion is some type of fidget. The second thing, and my husband actually exposed these to me and I had never heard of them, but then actually after seeing him use it and doing a little bit of research about it, I found out that these spinners are an amazing way to help any child or adult with ADD, ADHD, hyperactivity issues. These two that we have are from Spinstro. It's an online website that you can purchase from. They have all, I mean, who knew there, is, there were so many varieties? Like he got one spinner and then he's like, yeah, but I need another one because I want one that's this color or I want one that's made out of this material. And I didn't know there was such a variety. I didn't even know they existed. And then there's a huge variety of them in all different types and sizes and styles. So the two that we have are from Spinstro. And obviously you wouldn't necessarily wanna give this metal one to a child, um, but my older daughter plays with it. Both girls do play with it, but really my husband likes this one. From Spinstro, it's metal, it's got the pointed tips, and it's really heavy and weighty. And it's really fun too, because we like to play a game to see whose will spin the longest. Um, I'm kind of surprised, I don't wanna to admit to him that I do kind of think they're neat. Like when he first started looking into them and talking about them, I was like, that's dumb. Why, why would you want to just sit there and spin, stuff, spin something? But after being able to play with them for a little while, they have been really fun. This one's from Spinstro as well, and this one's much better suited to a younger child. So it's plastic, it's a lot safer. 
It's a lot larger, so it's easier for a child's hand, and they're just really fun. And I'll sit here, I'll sit there at night when watching TV and just kind of spin it. I do find it kind of relaxing, and I do tend to have a little bit of anxiety sometimes, and so it's actually kind of fun. And I actually have a coupon code for the Spinstro spinners um, for these or any of the other ones on their website. I will link that coupon code in the description box below in case you're interested in picking up some of the Spinstro spinners for your family, your kids, your husband, your classroom. I'm telling you, these actually make a great gift for any man as well. So check out the coupon code in the link below, in the description box below, if you're interested in these. Another great resource for children that have a little bit of a hard time sitting still or focusing are chair bands. These are actually something that when my oldest daughter was in public school, a couple of the chairs in her classroom had these chair bands on them. And the teacher mentioned to me that they use those for kids that have trouble sitting still. They give the child something to do with their feet quietly while they're able to do their work and concentrate while not disturbing the other children. So those are really nice for public school or homeschool. I will link uh, the ones that I found on Amazon in the description box below. Another great way to relax and calm your mind and to de-stress is bubble like bubble toys. Studies show that looking at something calm and rhythmic is a stress relieving and calming experience for kids or adults that have hyperactivity issues. And so there's tons of different ones you can find. Um, I will link the ones that I found on Amazon below, but also I know Hobby Lobby had some last time I was there. So check into those. Plus they're really pretty. I had gotten my girls some from Amazon a couple years ago for their stockings. I didn't realize that it was something that would actually help with sensory issues or hyperactivity. I just thought they were pretty and they were neat. So my girls already have some and sometimes they'll set them on their nightstand and they like to watch the little bubbles drip down at night and it really does, I think, help them go to sleep as well. So those are really nice and affordable and they're pretty. So it's not like it's something you wouldn't want sitting around anyway. And my last tip for dealing with hyperactivity and sensory issues in children or adults is essential oils. Essential oils are great for so many things. They're great for concentration, for sleeping, um, just tons of things. And they've been around for so, so, so many years and were used in ancient times because they figured it out back then that essential oils are an amazing tool to have for all different types of ailments and treatments for, for the body. So just some of the oils that are known to help with memory and concentration are spearmint, peppermint, and rosemary. I know there's all different types of blends you can get from health supply stores or from Amazon. I know there's so many different oil companies out there now like doTERRA and um, Young Living. So do a little bit of research and find out maybe which ones um, seem to have worked for the most people. You can get diffuse them with a diffuser in your home or your classroom. And they actually have, and this is new to me also, they also have diffuser jewelry and bracelets for kids, jewelry for adults and bracelets for kids. So you diffuse, if you put a few drops of the essential oil in the watch or the bracelet for the kids and they actually can still breathe in that essential oil even when they're at school or at their desk. I think essential oils are an amazing way to naturally try to treat hyperactivity and sensory issues because so many times you hear the word medication and you don't want to go down that route if you do not have to. So essential oils are a much safer healthy, natural way to um, help to concentrate or focus or whatever the need might be. It would really be honestly a, a little bit of a process of trial and error for you or for your child as to which essential oils work the best. There's all different blends you can purchase that have different essential oils that are supposed to help with concentration and hyperactivity and stress and anxiety, all these things. So I hate to kind of just say, here, do your own research, but honestly, um, it's a very personal, um, personal process that you're probably going to have to go through. I just wanted to bring it up though that it is out there for you guys. There are already oils made up that are supposed to work for hyperactivity issues. I have um, linked one in the description box below that I found on Amazon. It has tons of great reviews. Tons of people say it works for them or their child. So do your research. Go to your to your local health supply store and ask them, you know, would you have any oil blends that are supposed to help with concentration? Things like that and then just try them out because honestly, that's really the only way you're gonna find the best blend for you or your child. And also, I would highly recommend contacting Nikki from A Farmhouse Full. She is an amazing YouTuber, homeschooler mom, and she just recently started selling essential oils from doTERRA, and I know that she and at least one of her kids has ADD or ADHD, I can't really remember which one. And she has talked about one of the doTERRA oils that she uses in her homeschool room in a diffuser to help her kids concentrate and sit still and she swears by it. So if you want to contact her, I will leave her channel link and her um, doTERRA website link in the description box below. You can definitely contact her and ask her any questions you might have. She is extremely knowledgeable about every single thing I've ever heard her talk about. 
Um, so I know she would probably be able to help you out as well. So those are my tips and suggestions for children that have ADD or ADHD or stress, anxiety, or just kids that have a little bit of a hard time sitting still. And I think any of these things are great, whether you have a child that's been diagnosed or you just have a kid that is a little bit bouncy sometimes and you want them to sit still and focus. They're fun ways and natural ways to get your kids to calm down, focus, de-stress, and get their work done with a lot less anxiety on your part as the parent or homeschool teacher. So I hope these tips were helpful for you guys. I've linked everything I could find in the description box below. Make sure if you're interested in the coupon code for the Spin Stro Spinners that you check out the coupon code below. And make sure you check out the link for the Born to Calm fidgets in the description box below. I really, really believe in this company and I believe in the owner. I've spoken with her several times and I think she just has, her heart is in the right place. She has created these to really help people that have issues with anxiety or ADHD or ADD. And just the fact that she's giving 10% of the proceeds back to um, that back to the autistic community, I think just speaks that she really does have the best interests of children and people at heart. And that's what's so important. And I love supporting companies like that. So if you do as well, make sure you check out the link for her product in the description box below. If you guys like this video and it was helpful, give it a thumbs up and let me know what tips or suggestions you would have um, for somebody that might have a child with hyperactivity issues or if you're an adult that has hyperactivity issues or anxiety issues, let me know any tips or suggestions that you might have about that in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.